Welcome back, guys, to the Captain Shocks podcast. We're going back into Star Wars Dooku Jedi Lost. We're going to start with scene three. And we are in the capital of Serenal at the Carania. Carania, capital, capital of Serenal. All right. Atmosphere as Dooku talks, we hear the sounds of a grand celebration behind the narration. Music playing, crowds bustling, demonstrations being made. Think of it as a trade fair for the outer rim. Dooku Sereno was a uh, hosting was hosting a showcase for the galaxy, an opportunity for the planets of the Outer Rim to demonstrate what they could bring to the ever-growing Republic. Merchants and traders flocked here to wander the pavilions and goff at the demonstrations. There were shipmakers, weaponsmiths, droid manufacturers, and agri-farmers, ventress, and Jedi? The council had debated the wisdom of sending initiates to such an event. But it had been argued that the celebration was too good an opportunity to miss. A -a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for the young Jedi in training to observe the galaxy they had pledged their lives to protect. What better way could there be for young Jedi in waiting to understand the galaxy they would serve, but to see it with their own eyes, which were over-eager. Saifodius, Dooku, Dooku, can you believe this? Look at it all. There are so many people. Dooku, too many. Saifodius, we need to relax. Enjoy yourself. It's a festival. Dooku, I am enjoying myself. Cyphal Diaz again. Then you should tell your face. Dooku. (laughs) It's safe to say that I was a difficult person to know. I struggled to make friends in the early days of my training. On arrival at the temple, initiates are sorted into clans. An arbitrary grouping in many ways but one that is supposed to foster an atmosphere of trust and kinship. Not so for me. I I had no need for camaraderie. Even then, I was there to train, to be the very best I could be. While my clanmates huddled together after lessons, swapping tales of the nameless or whatever, Fantasmagoria had seized their overactive imaginations, I could be found ensuring my tunic was sharply pressed and boots polished. I had masters to impress after all. Only one boy saw through the bluster, an initiate as likely to cause trouble as I was expected to itself. Perhaps I needed someone to burst my bubble. Perhaps I needed a companion. But whatever the reason, we became inseparable. Sifo-Dyas, remember, we are here where we are. People are staring. sifo so it's a celebration. We're supposed to be enjoying ourselves. Dooku, no, we're supposed to be representing the Jedi. What would Master Yoda say if he saw you prancing about like a full... Our betten dancer. <laughs> well, my guess is Yoda would uh, be like, okay, enjoy yourselves, young ones. But let's find out what Yoda would say, because it looks like we're about to meet him. Sifo Dias. But he's not going to see, is he? He's too busy being wise and inscrutable and... Sifo Dias barrel straight into Yoda, who is knocked from his feet. Yoda, oh! Dooku, my heart sank as Sifo Dias wheeled around, knocking into the very 
Jedi Master he was mocking. It's like, well, yes, Mas Master Yoda, I'm so sorry. Dooku hissing, you're an idiot. Yoda, look where you are going. You should, young disciple Diaz. Dooku, as if they'd been waiting for disaster to strike, the other masters appeared from the crowd, rushing to their grandmaster's aid. There was Terra Sinube, the beak-nosed Kozian, who, like Yoda himself, seemed to have been born ancient and weasoned. Terra Sinube, Master Yoda, are you all right? Dooku, and then there are Eula Ber Braylon, a seeker who had brought many to the Order's new recruits to the temple's doors. Braylon, who did this? Show yourself, Sipodius. It was me, Master Braylon. I, I, I just got so excited with all the lights. And the sounds end, Braylon. And this is why dragging initiates halfway across the galaxy was a mistake. Yoda, no harm was done. And that's what it was. Duca, Sifo-Dyas really is sorry. Yoda, learn the lesson young sifo -Dyas has. Do it again, he will not. sifo -Dyas, no, I promise I'll... I'll look where I'm going, Yoda. As all of us must, yes, everyone. Dooku, not all the masters were quick to forgive. Braylon fixed us with a suspicious glare as we convinced, as if convinced we would blunder into trouble the moment her back was turned. Her instincts were applauded. Braylon, now don't go wandering off. The lightsaber demonstration takes place in less than an hour. Do you understand? Remember why we are here. To, do, to demonstrate the discipline and composure of the Jedi. Sinube, see, they were listening, Braylon. Well done, Dooku. Dooku, thank you, Master Sinube. Dooku, we waited solemnly as the masters headed back to the stage where the demonstrations would be given. It was only when they were out of sight that I punched Sifo-Dyas sharply in the arm. Sifo-Dyas, ow, what was that for? What do you think? Knocking Master Yoda over, you're lucky they didn't ship us back to Coruscant. Sifo-Dyas, I thought that's what you wanted. Come on, do... Dooku, ah, don't call me that. Saipo Diaz, why not? It's your name. Dooku, no, it's not. Saipo Diaz, teasing, sing song. Do, do, Dooku. Dooku, shut up. Saipo Diaz, do, do, do. Unable to, Dooku unable to stop himself from laughing. You're an idiot. Sifo-Dyas. And you're home. This is Sereno, Dooku. How many initiates get to visit where they were born? Aerith, 12 years old, approaching. What was that, sifo -Dyas? This is where his eminence comes from, Dooku. Oh, nice work, Sai. Dooku, if I could have willed it, I would have urged the ground to swallow me up there and then. From the day we met, Arth Tarax had been determined to make my life a misery. He seemed to take offense at everything I did, the way I walked, the way I talked, and most important, the way I acted in his pitiful attempts to succeed in each and every one of our classes together. Jedi are trained to suppress our emotions, but even then, 
earth, he was jealous of me, and for good reason. Leave us alone, earth, Sifodius says. We weren't talking to you, earth. Is this really your home, Dooku? Dooku. No, my home is the temple, just like you, Sifodius. Soto, more's the pity. Aerith, what was that? Sifodius, nothing, Aerith. Nothing at all. What's the matter anyway? Don't you like it here? Aerith, are you kidding? It's a dump. Who would have thought that for all his airs and graces, little Lord Dooku comes from a shab hole like this? Dooku, I'm warning you, Aerith. Aerith, what are you going to do, Dooku? Run off to Braylon like the last time? Dooku, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Dooku goes to shop Aerith, but Cyphodius stops him. Cyphodius, whoa, whoa, whoa. Discipline and composure, remember. Discipline and composure. Aerith walking off. Good luck with that. See you at the demonstration, your highness. Dooku, one day I'm going to wipe that smirk off his stupid face. Cyphodius, and what good would that do? Dooku, it would put him in his place. Cyphodius, which is exactly the kind of talk that adds coxium to his engines. Look, I know you're better than him. He knows you're better than him. Even the durst legs back home know you're better than him. But there's no need to rub it in his face. Dooku, what about rubbing his face in the do-back paddock over there? Cyphodius, okay, that I would like to see. But if you do, Braylon will make sure we spend the rest of the celebration hold up on the ataraxia. Come on, do. When do we ever get out of the temple, let alone off course? Let's forget Aerith and explore while we have the chance, Yeah. Well, that is the end of scene, the scene, so we will get to scene four in a couple of days. I'll post this video today, so uh, I hope you all enjoy. Have a great day, and remember to like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and uh, I will try and respond to as many comments as I can. Please Tell your friends about the channel, and if you like Star Wars, may the Force be with you. And if you're a Star Trek fan, may the Force still be with you, but uh, what are you doing? You aren't a Star Wars fan, you're a Star Trek fan? Seriously. Well, I like all... I like... Voyager and DS9, those are my top two Star Trek shows that I like. So, anyway, everyone, may the Force be with you. This is Captain Trox signing off.